Good morning, friends. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Today we're starting our sculpture week. Um, we're going to begin by making some paper mache birds. And um, what I want you to start with first is by making three different ideas of what you might like to create. I started with the chicken, then I drew the owl, and then ultimately I decided on the bluebird. Just because I know my mom really loves bluebirds and this is something that I'd like to send to her. So I just spent some time coloring and getting ideas of maybe what kind of papers I'll need later on to add some color to my bird. The next thing you want to do is create an armature. Now an armature is like, like your skeleton. Like your muscles and your skin is attached to your skeleton and that gives your body some structure. Well, that, not some structure, it gives your body structure. And so the armature acts as the same thing, as the, in the same way. We're going to use newspaper to put around this, and this is what's going to give our um, sculpture some, some volume. So, you're going to start by taking a fairly large piece of tin foil. You can see that's what I have here. And you don't want to just crumple it up into a ball. All right. What you want to do, you think about the shape that you're, or the form that you're trying to create. So for me, I'm trying to create almost like this banana shape a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just grab it in the middle. This part is going to start to be become my head. And then this part, you can see this really long. I'm going to turn that underneath and this is going to start to become my body. So it almost looks like a smile, just like that. Now this looks a little goofy. I'm not going, I'm not done yet. I'm going to keep adding tin foil. And you don't want to add super small pieces of tin foil. They don't seem to want to stick on. So I'm going to take another fairly large sheet of tin foil. You can kind of see that here, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it on, starting at the neck, and just keep, keep going. And I'm going to start to also form the tail. So you can see here, I'm going to start, now I kind of squished it a little too much. You don't want to do that. Um, if you do that, then you start to lose the volume of your sculpture, and then you end up having to use a whole lot of tin foil. So don't squeeze it too hard, but I mean squeeze it hard enough that you're going to be able to um, connect it. So here we go. Now I'm kind of getting the shape that I want. And I'll just continue to do that until I'm pleased with the size in the shape of my bird. Now I also want to make sure I'm paying attention to the other side because as you know a sculpture is something that can be viewed in all directions. Top, bottom, sides, all around. It's something three-dimensional. It has width, it has length, and it has height. Just like that. And so I'll just keep going and and make my armature. The next step is, is for you to mix up some glue using white glue and some water. And you want it to be the consistency of cream. Can you see that? How it kind of drips off. If you make it too runny, it's not going to stick well. If you make it too thick, um, it just gets super, super sticky. Now this part, I will tell you, can be a little bit frustrating. I just finished um, covering this one and if you don't put on a substantial amount of glue on your newspaper, which is what we're using to cover our bird, make sure your pieces are not too big all right, or too small. If you don't put a substantial amount of glue on, it just becomes really hard and frustrating. And you just have to, your hands are going to get gluey and that's okay because it'll you'll be able to wash them off. But you just want to make sure that you get enough glue on there that you're going to be able 
to really stick it. If not, it's going to start to stick to you and it's going to be really, really annoying. So I just covered the whole thing with one layer. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. I mean, you don't want it to have big pieces coming off, like, you know, not glued on like that. But um, just make sure it's covered and that you have enough, um, most of the spots covered, just like that. And then set it outside to dry. Make sure you don't let it dry on newspaper, though. Okay. So those are the first three steps of this project. Stay tuned for the next step.